Hi everyone, it's Vanessa, and I hope that everyone is having a wonderful Friday. I suppose by the time this uploads, though, it'll probably be Saturday. Um, so I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, how was everybody's week? I hope I hope that uh, it was uneventful. Um, oh, unless it was good stuff. I hope you all had good stuff. Um, my week was a little hectic. Um, still a lot of uncertainty going on whether or not the kiddos are going to be in school this fall. Um, so there's kind of been a lot on my mind. Um, if I do sound a little funny, it's because I've got a cough drop in this time. I was around hay all day today, so I don't want to cough again this time like last time, um, the last video. So as promised, I am going to do um, part two of my little clothing haul, but I also wanted to take some time and show off some details on this little guy. Um, this is the Esme Sculpt by Cassie Brace, and he was reborn by um, Russian artist Natalia Sklyar. Um, and I got this baby, um, gosh, when was it? I think it was about six weeks ago. And I did do a box opening video for him, if you want to go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Um, and I just love this baby. I love this baby so much. Um, I bonded, I bonded to him right away in photos. Um, and I kind of mulled it over for a little while. And, and when I just kept going back to look at him, I knew that it was definitely meant to be. And the feeling has certainly stayed after he arrived. I just love to hold this baby. He is so cute and he just feels super realistic. And if you did watch my part one video, you'll recognize this little outfit with the um, little I love mom on there with the little ducky. It fits him really well. It's super soft and cozy and he does have that... Um, little butt flap back here that I just love. So I just want to show you some details on him. Now something that I really love about this sculpt are the hands. So I'm just going to be moving my tripod around a little bit to try and, and get you closer to these details. But here's the sculpt of the hands. And his fingers are just, the pose of them is so incredible. And you'll see he's got very um, young baby looking nails. Lots of texture on him too. And I feel like the fingers like look separate. Yes, they're they're like they're molded together, but they look so delicate. I'm trying to hold my tripod with one hand and pull his sleeve up with the other. So precious. And there's more texturing and veining up his arms. And here's that other hand, too. This sculpt is so, so beautiful. See the um, veining and the modeling on his limbs? Lots of, of realistic texture on him, too. And he's so fun to um, to pose. I'm going to show you his face. And he is um, fully rooted. So I'll bring his little face. Shout out to Emily. She'll know what this is back here for his little head. Um, so here's his face. I think he has like the most perfect eyebrows. Aren't those perfect? And the eyelashes, I just love them. He's got milk spots and um, some baby acne going on there. But check out this rooting. Isn't that amazing? The rooting job by this artist is just phenomenal. Let me see if I can use both hands here. So here's his head. Do you see that? 
That is seriously so real, you guys. And it is so soft. And you can, like, muss it up a little bit. And um, it lays beautifully however you have it. Um, but just look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm just blown away. And it's so soft. And I think he looks so cute with just a little bit of um, hat hair there. There's this other side of his face. And he's got the little hairs on the side of his face, too. Now, this kit came to me as a girl, um, but I just really saw boy. I, I almost always see boy. Get him propped up with his little pillow there. I just love him so much. Now, I haven't officially decided on a name for him yet. I haven't picked one that's just perfect yet. I'm just going to reposition him a little bit here. There you go, sweetie. There we go. All right. So now I am going to fiddle with my tripod a little bit here. Kind of scoop back a little bit to try and get a better wider angle. Now he wears um, like large newborn and then zero to three. Um, most of the newborn is a little bit too short for him. So I say larger newborn because sometimes newborn is um, only goes up to like seven pounds and that would be too small. But if it's a newborn that goes up to like 10 pounds, he could fit into that. And I think that's what this one is. It's um, it's a foreign brand, so I'm not positive. Um, but it, it does. It fits him pretty good. The feeties are a little bit tight, but it fits him really good around the torso. So cute. I just love this baby. I really I recommend the artist. Again, it's Natalia Sklar, and she's in Russia. It took me about four weeks to get this baby, so not bad at all. Um, and if you want to see um, details on on Natalia, you can go ahead and check out my other video. And I will put her name in the, um, the description for this video as well. So you can check her out on Instagram and Facebook. So now I'm just going to take a sip of my water here. And I lied. I'm probably going to cough here. <clears throat> All right, better. Okay. So now we're going to get back into our clothing haul. And this first item is something that I got off of Mercari again. Sorry, just button up, buttoning up a button. Uh, I had to have this. It's so sweet. This is like a more formal um, little romper. And this will fit this little guy too. Um, this is a larger newborn. So that is newborn, but but it's a big one, I think. I know I can't get it all in a single frame because I'm using the flash again so you can see the details on this handsome guy. This is by Petite Ami, and I have seen a lot of other collectors use this brand before, but this is my first piece from that brand. Oh, and it has a matching hat. How cute is that? How cute is that? I'm really excited because I actually waited to really look at these items um, until I could do it with you guys. So this is the first time that I've gotten to really look them over. I know I've said this a thousand times, but um, I really, I really like doing this um, on camera with you guys. So you guys can be excited too. So this next piece looked more unisex in the um in the auction but when I got it I think it's a little bit more girl but I still feel like I would I would probably still put it on a boy too <laughs> so this is by Jimboree and this one is zero to three got the tags in here too but I just love a lot of this stuff that's coming out that's rainbow but it's like toned down rainbow 
so it's like more um, earthy type tones. I really like that a lot. So the rainbow is like a like a cornflower blue, a mustard yellow, a dusty rose, and then like a mauve color. And that's a little footy, and it's a snap closure on this one. I think this one would fit him really well too. Isn't that cute? And if you did want to use it on a girl, I'm thinking a headband. I, I I thought my nursery was going to be all boys, but I don't know, you guys. I've really, really been thinking about it lately. Um, and here is, let me get a next one here. And here is another one piece. And this one is from Old Navy. And I really like Old Navy baby clothes. They're they're also really similar quality to, to Gymboree and Baby Gap. I think they might all be owned by the same company. Um, the cotton just feels really nice. And the, the stitching on these, really nice clothes. It's got a little bear. So cute. And it's got a sweet little hood. I think hoods might be better for rooted babies than hats because they're a lot looser. It's got buttons here up at the top. And then down here, some snaps. This one I also got on Mercari. I've had such good luck on Mercari lately for baby clothes. So cute. And that one was actually in a two-pack with this one. I love stars. <laughs> And this is another um, more like muted tone. So instead of like a bright blue, it's a navy. And, and this red is more um, in person. It's kind of an orangey red. And then instead of a, a super vibrant yellow, it's more of a mustard. And I, I really, really like those colors. I like to wear those colors myself um, in those tones. Um, and I really, really like them on baby clothes too. And the snaps at the bottom. And again, the cute little hood, zero to three. That would look super cute on him. Now, this next one is a three-piece outfit. So I'll kind of lay it out on him so you can see. And it's by Baby Gap. Um, and here is a, whoops, little tag's gonna, don't want to, poor baby hit him in the face with a tag. Um, it's a onesie, and this is zero to three as well. Now, I wonder if it says on the tag, I'm pretty sure it does, what their sizing is. So, for Baby Gap, their newborn, I know it goes up to seven pounds, so their newborn is on the small side. Um, and their zero to three months is up to 23 inches and seven to 12 pounds. So that's actually kind of, I feel like compared to other brands, that's a smaller zero to three. And I do remember with my own kids too, we did have some baby gap items and I remember them fitting into the zero to three right away, even though they weren't, my babies weren't really big. Um, and then they were able to wear the three to six months. Um, sooner than I, than, um, with other brands. So there's the onesie. So this is definitely a good brand for, um, maybe your shorter, um, reborns, your chubbier reborns, um, that are maybe, um, right on the cusp of growing out of the, or not growing, but... <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, just a little hair too big for the for the newborn, but still too small for the for other brands of zero to three. And here we have our little rainbow pants. And again, it's rainbow, but it's not um not like traditional bright rainbow. It's kind of like a more boyish or neutral rainbow. And I really love these greens on here. Greens um are another one of my favorite colors to wear for me. I love these pants. Um, we had several pairs of these pants for my kiddos when they were babies because they are so soft. 
and they have the sweetest little bear applique on them. I I want to say that all Baby Gap has at least their um I think they call it Brannon Bear. Um it all has a little bear on it somewhere. See there there it is there. <laughs> and little pants. And then the last part of this outfit is so precious. It's a little bib and it's got ears and a little face that's embroidered on. How cute is that, you guys? That would look super cute on him, too. I love it. So cute. He's being a good sport, isn't he? <laughs> All right. I might actually have to stand up and grab a couple more outfits from my clothing rack that you guys haven't seen yet because we are on our last one that I have within reach. <laughs> um, I've just had so much fun shopping for clothes for these guys. It's, you know, with everything that's going on in the world right now, it's, it's been a joy for me. It's really been, it's really been a joy for me. Um, I got into this hobby, um, for comfort and for, um, sort of a therapy and, I've really gotten so much out of it, um, mental health wise, and just as a way to cope and to relax. Um, and I just, I just love it. And I know that so many of us, um, collectors have our reasons for why we collect. Um, and I, and I do, I just love the art. It is so amazing to me that these dolls start off the way that they do blank kits and now they're babies. I just, I am just in awe at that art and, and not just the art, but also the way the feelings that they ignite in, in collectors and just people who see them. Um, it was, it was really, really special when I got my first baby and I showed him to my husband who, you know, wasn't really into dolls, but, but even he was, wow, that looks real. And he was holding the baby and, um, and he, you know, he had that look on his face that I remember him having when we had our own children. Um, so it's just these little things here, these beautiful pieces of art, um, they really, they make people feel things. And, and I just think that that's so beautiful and I really appreciate that. Okay. Now that's enough. I went off on a tangent there. So here is the next piece that I have. It's a, it's another three piece, but it's like a layette set. And this is by a brand. Um, some of you might've heard of this. It's called Petunia Pickle Bottom. And I think that they're mostly known for their diaper bags. They're um, high-end di diaper bags that look like purses and they're like super duper fancy. Um, I never had one because um, I think they're a couple hundred dollars. Um, but I found a seller on eBay, sort of like some of the other outfits that I had found in the first part of this video, where they had some kind of wholesale deal or something, and I got this three-piece set for something like $20, and I feel like that's a steal for, um, I don't want to say luxury brand, because that makes me feel a little hoity-toity, but um, but it is. I, I guess it is. It's, a, it's more of a luxury brand, so... It's kind of neat to have. Um, yeah, Petunia Pickle Bottom. And this is zero to three, but again, really small zero to three. I, If I had seen this and not known the size, I probably would have guessed newborn for the width of it. But the length of it is a little bit longer. So this is another really good one for your babies that are on the cusp, where they are... Um, a little bit too big for a newborn, but too small for a full size zero to three. And, oh, I've got kitty hair on it. Uh, I've got three kitties. Um, and they love whenever I get a new piece of baby clothing. They always want to get by the babies, so I have to keep them, um, safe in their little nursery. Um, and this is another neutral item, and it is a yellow, uh, what I call this gingham or plaid. I think gingham. And it is got, or it, bleh, sorry, I can't talk tonight. It has a gray trim with the snaps. And it's just a simple footie. It's really lightweight. 
but it's also really soft. And I think that would look super good on him too. I think he, this baby would look good in anything. He is so cute. And it also comes with this sweet little knotted hat. And this hat would, would work great with a lot of the other outfits that I have. So it's a really versatile thing. So that's two pieces to that. And it also came with this kind of larger receiving blanket. And it's the same material as the footie. So cute. I'm definitely going to use this for um, pictures, displays that I do. So I want to just grab... I want to just grab a couple more. Just a couple more. Let's see here. What haven't we seen? Oh, here's a good one. Oh, and here's another good one. I think a lot of you will be interested in knowing about this brand. Okay. Now I've got these on hangers, so just bear with me for just a second. Okay, we'll do two more. And I will be doing another video very, very soon. I might even have it in me to film it tonight. We'll see. All right. So this next one I ordered off of Amazon. And it's something I had in my wish list for a super long time because I think it is so cute. So this is by Leverett. And again, a smaller 0 to 3 because it's snug fit. Now, Leverett makes jammies for all ages, from newborn up until adult, and it is so cute because you can get matching family jammies at a really reasonable price, and they're often on Zulily, too, but this, this set I got off of Amazon, and I want to say that they call it a girl's uh, jammy, but I think this is so unisex. Um, it's not pink on the birds. It's... um. It's more in person, it's more of an orange, and it's gray. I love anything with birds on it, just because I'm a crazy chicken lady. I've got like 40 chickens, and I just, I love my chickens, and I'm always on the lookout for baby clothes that have chickens on them, but they just don't have a whole lot, so I'll sub settle for birds when I can find them. And this little guy has actually worn these jammies, and they look so cute on him. I just love these jammies. So soft. And their zipper. I really recommend this brand too. I actually, my kids have Leverett jammies. Um, and they've had them as babies, toddlers, and big kids. And they fit really good um, in all the sizes. They're very um, very true to size. Aside from this one is on the smaller side. But, but for the older kids, very true to size. And they last a long time. Now, this last one, I think, is a brand that a lot of you um, might be curious about. Now, this is by Posh Peanut, and that is, it is a luxury brand, and I got this off of Zulily. And I have been so curious what the fuss is about with this, because I, I had seen some of the prints selling on Mercari and eBay, and actually selling for into the hundreds for these. And not this one, but other ones. And I really wanted to know what all the hubbub was about. Um, so as far as I can tell, the reason why they are expensive is they have like batches of prints. So they'll release a print and do different styles in that print for only so long and then it becomes retired. I think that is... The justification behind the price. Um, now, it's hard. It's kind of hard to describe the way that it feels. And if you've ever, I'm not affiliated in any way, but if you've ever worn Luluru or Luluro um, leggings or any kind of leggings that that are that super thin, stretchy material, that is what this is made out of. 
that's what it is. See, it, it is the legging material. This is newborn. And it's, I mean, it's transparent. It's see-through. So for me personally, if this is a brand that you were thinking about getting, um, I would not recommend this brand for the price. When you compare the price to the quality of the product, I think the prints are super cool and unique. So if there was one that you really, really loved the print of, go for it. Um, but as far as the quality of the product matching up with the price, I don't see it. I want to say this was $20 on Zulily and that is the discount price. But this exact one I've seen selling on like eBay and Mercari for up to $50. And I just can't, I can't see that personally. Um, I mean, we all have our own opinions, but this is my honest review of Posh Peanut. Um, it does have the mitten cuffs. So I do like that. Oh, here's another thing about this outfit. The arms are ridiculously skinny. Extremely skinny. Um, I would actually say that this arm is preemie. It is so thin and the arm actually does not have a ton of stretch for width. It will not fit this baby. Um, I did have it on my, um, on my little boy Brecken and he is a jade sculpt and that's a smaller baby. I believe it's bountiful baby jade sculpt. And he is 18 inches and wears newborn super solidly. And it was really hard to get his arms in here. Really hard. Um, and then it was hard to get it off too. And I, I almost felt like I was going to rip it. So that is my issue with Posh Peanut. Um, but on the... See, see, like, I really feel like that is just... That's going to rip. But it is cute, so I I don't think I'd even put it on a real baby. Cute for display. Posh Peanut. It's made out of bamboo fiber, I think. Um, but on the flip side, while we're talking about Posh Peanut, one of the other things that I ordered on Zulily that was from Posh Peanut was a um, women's robe. A women's like summery bathrobe made out of that exact same material, like that legging material. And I will say, I love the robe. I absolutely love the robe. The robe was, I want to say, it was either $25 or $30. And I felt like the value was there for that because obviously it's a lot bigger than the amount of fabric that you're getting in a newborn baby outfit. Um, and... I felt like it was really good sizing. Um, I'm usually an eight um, in women's and the, they're large sizes, eight to 10, and it fits perfect. So it is true to size. Uh, I really like the robe. It's really, really comfy and really cute. And it's gone through the washer, I think three times so far, and it's come out all right, even though it's black, it didn't fade. Um, so I really, I like the robe, um, but, but this baby jumper has left much to be desired. Um, all right, you guys, this video is getting long again, but that's all the baby clothes that I have for right now. Um, well, at least for this video, I've got a whole rack. Don't tell. <laughs> My husband knows. I know I joke, but I don't keep it from him. He does know, um, so this is my little guy here, Esme, Sculpt. Um, if you do have any more name suggestions, I would love to hear them. I am partial to B names. He is so precious. I'm going to stop this video and give him a big old hug. Um, he does have a magnetic passy too. So cute, right? All right, you guys. Well, take care, everybody. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and well um, both physically and mentally. These are very, very hard times for everyone. And I just, I really appreciate all of you taking time out of your day or evening to, um, watch my videos. Thanks again, guys. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening. Take care. Bye.